Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our Timberborn series. So in this episode what I'd like to do is, I think our main focus is going to be trying to figure out whether we need another district center for our farming section here. Or perhaps we can be a bit more clever with the layout and therefore avoiding the need for another district in this very tiny corner. Right, but before we do that, I still haven't resumed the time and uh, I'll, I'll show you in a second why. So there is a bit of a maze with all these rows and things happening and um, yeah, we're just trying to get as many tams and levees in place before the drought ends. They have done quite a lovely little section in here and as soon as uh, this set of stairs is done as well, they hopefully will start building up this section here. Okay, now moving on. Oh, I did start sending some logs in here as well because... Uh, yeah, it, it just wasn't going fast enough, it seems. Right, so let's move over here. I think in the last episode what I mentioned was that I wasn't quite sure what to do in this area. So don't worry, I haven't built anything yet. But I have put in a bit of a blueprint or... Should I say half of it at least? So essentially what's going to happen or what I'm hoping is going to happen is that at the bottom levels uh, these two bigger sort of sections here are the underground warehouses that are going to hold all the food for the beavers. And then if we bring them up again I have used those metal well they're not really metal but I think Let's bring back to you, what were they called? Oh, those arches. Yep, so those arches to cover up uh, the storehouses that we have on the level below. And right on top, because right now our housing is not really... It's just kind of randomly everywhere and they weren't supposed to be permanent solutions. So yeah, we can rip up those houses relocate them over here and what I'd like to do is I'm definitely going to incorporate uh, the the ruins in this build and what I'm thinking as well because the height limit is I think it, it was pretty high uh, actually why don't we test this real quick so we take one of those platforms okay and I think that was a two so we'll pause it for a second so yeah we can we can definitely go as high as we want so that's not gonna limit us too much fortunately i have also paused everything for the time being because i don't want the beavers to start constructing this section yet we still have some uh, levies to do and yeah some dams to reorganize here as well uh, so that will be at the in the back burner yeah okay so that's this section here what i'd also like to do is bring some uh, metal production over uh, something that I have suddenly realized is that besides this section here we haven't really destroyed much of the landscape we've kind of managed to work around the terrain which is something I really really enjoy as well and it has allowed us to you know not have this uh, boxy kind of structures and uh, sections of the town except obviously this one here but uh, everything else yeah even even in this section oh there's another dynamite we can do even in this in this section here we kind of have just used levees to allow or create those canals for uh, for the water and the only reason why we've used the dynamite is just to ensure that the area stays clean and green is actually the word I was looking for. Okay, we'll resume the time. Uh, let's see. One over here. I really hope... Let's just double check as well. Please do not start building anything. Uh, maybe we have to pause another one. And let's just do a couple more buildings. Just to make sure. Yep, they can't really go up from here. And hopefully these beavers are not gonna focus on this area okay um since it is night time why don't we skip it and then we'll go back and start talking and building this area up as well 
All right, so here we go. Um, first thing we'll do is relocate some of the uh, lumberjack flags. We also have a spare beaver, so why don't we bring you in here? Okay, there we go. Uh, maybe we have another construction beaver since we do have quite a few logs in store. So yeah, the easiest way that I feel how we can do this is to really rip out all the trees and everything else as well. Our priority number one is going to be getting this sort of canal all the way up here. Uh, yep, there's just a couple more trees that I'm hoping they will rip out as well. Uh, if you could please build those first, then that would be very lovely. Alright, uh, we'll expand the harvesting zone. Yeah, let's just get all these trees out. You as well. We can always replant them. Right, so... I think initially I was afraid that we might have to do another district in here. But when looking at the range on how far they can go. So this one can go pretty much here. And if we highlight one of those farmhouses. It can actually reach all the way up until this levee wall. Right, so what we could do is... Once this area is green, I'd like to put some trees just to kind of try and hide that we have all those levees uh, right at the back over there. If we can, of course, that would be lovely. Now, what this means is if we use this as a kind of like a small highway here, we are probably going to want to cross over somewhere about here. And this is a section where we are not going to use bridges because there's a high chance the farms will be lined up somewhere here. Okay, so those roads are no longer necessary. We are going to take you out just like so. All right, there we go. And we're just going to connect this whole thing up with some uh, smaller platforms as well. All right, hopefully the beavers from District 1 can be in charge of this little section here. Whilst the beavers in here, uh, we can probably pause you now so you can hop over into into these two. Right, thus allowing you a bit more range as well. I think another thing we should probably export into our new district is a few explosives. Uh, we don't need too many. Let's check the limits. Maybe just about five. Uh, here we go. Let's change it to five. Perfect. Okay, and what this means is we can already rebuild where we want. Oh, yeah, we want, I guess, one here. Um, <laughs> one second. I don't think we want it there. If we drop it three levels, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do every eighth. Yeah. And maybe one over there as well. Okay, and since we will not be able to close you up until these dynamites are done, uh, why don't we give you a slightly higher priority as well. I'm also really hoping these beavers will get rid of all the dead trees in, in here, so we could start putting in the rest of the levees as well. Okay, so this one is coming along quite nicely and still seems to be usable okay so that's good um i think we can leave those beavers here for the time being let's have a look around this colony as well so another thing these roads are not uh, they're kind of meaningless right now and what i do want to do here is i want to create some log piles I think that's something I mentioned in the last episode as well, so so yeah. Um, we can kind of sketch them in and see if that is the layout we want to go with. It would be lovely if we get some trees in the middle just to separate them a little bit. Let's see if we can take you out and yep, another one right over here. Oh, it allows us only one more. Okay, so maybe we leave the last row of trees. 
Okay, there we go. And same, we can have a row of trees here. Two. So, three log piles. And... Let's see, one, two, three. Road, and another one. Hmm, that could work indeed. Uh, so, yeah. We'll skip the night. Actually, never mind. The night is almost over anyways. Um, <laughs> right, let's have a look at some of the other areas as well. Water level is pretty low, actually. I'd like this number to be much higher. But let's have a quick look. How are you guys doing here? Is Oh, okay. Slightly higher priority. You're going to be paused, which means we have one builder and one cutting down the trees, I hope. So where did you go? Oh, you're all the way over there. And it seems we're getting a few more stairs constructed as well, which is very lovely. So carry on. Cut down this whole section if you can. And while well, you look at that, we've got another section already done. I would like this to be perhaps the next one. And we do need a road here as well. Alright, perfect. Let's uh, jump on over and see how is our next pool coming along. Okay, you're almost done as well. So these beavers have been pretty productive over here. Haven't quite got to the uh, dynamites on this side just yet, but that is that is fine as well. What about you guys? No, no, you haven't. Oh, because we don't have too many builders here. Yep, it seems we are definitely low on beaver power right now. Scrap metal is coming along pretty nicely. Metal 95. Okay, yeah, that's uh, actually looking pretty lovely. Something we could perhaps do if we have enough power, which we don't, of course. Okay, so you take 50 metal gears and blanks. How many gears do we have here? 15, 100. Do you know what? Let's, um, let's ramp up our column production as well. And let's see, how are you guys doing? Okay, we've got dynamites already in. So that's the first level. I don't think we want to go any more than this. So yeah, let's just do one more. We'll give you a slightly higher priority. I don't even think we have to do it because they've already uh, finished demolishing and building everything else, haven't they? Uh, yep. And there's a few more little trees growing in here. I think we can leave them in actually. Yeah, just get these ones out and while well, you look at that, the last link is done as well. Okay, so that means this is pretty much where our farm is going to be. And because we can rotate them, let's let's try and fit you. Okay, there we go. Your range doesn't look the best for for now. But I'm hoping we can change this a little bit and maybe Maybe you could even give him a slightly more direct route as well. Well, let's see. It doesn't hurt to try. If that changes anything, that would be amazing. Alright, so you're going to go in from here. Yeah, let's do another farm right next to you. And one could be here as well. So these are, yep, the furthest ones, which means... Uh, you are gonna have to be removed, I'm afraid. Maybe a little bit of high priority, so they start doing it as soon as possible. Alright, let's check on the dynamites. Yes, they have completed them indeed. So this means we can finally and close this whole area, can't we? Yes, we can. Okay, wonderful. Let's block you in. This road can come out as well. We don't really need those corner bits, but just to it, it just kind of makes it look more complete in a way. Okay, now your range. You can actually help us construct stuff in here. So that's good. Um, <laughs> well, I guess we can dig out this road for now. 
Yep, there we go. So this will allow us to still jump over into this area as well. And we're going to have to also empty everything in here now, don't we? Yes, we do. Uh, just to clear up a bit more space for our farms. All right, there we go. Everything's scheduled in. I know these blueberries and uh, dandelions are going to start growing and spreading as soon as they get a chance. But that's okay. We'll move the flags a little bit closer one more time. Okay, there we go. And... How is this coming along? Not as quick as we would want it to, but that's fine. I don't think we have a ton of... Oh, actually, we still have quite a few blanks in here. And more is being carried over as well. Uh, you've got all the metal you need, blanks you need. It's just really the gears, isn't it? How many gears do we have? Oh, 277. Okay, I guess we could be a little bit quicker if we had more beavers in here, but it's uh, it's alright. We are not in a rush. We still have 15.4 days on the drought as well, so... So, yeah. Okay, last of the levees are now going in. And I think... Uh, no. Actually, no. Yep, this one. There we go. Let's build this first. So then we can start pausing these lumberjack flags in here. Okay, there we go. Wonderful. And you have quite a big range, don't you? So why don't we... We can already do more potatoes and block this tree in uh, straight away as well. Okay. Very lovely indeed. And a couple more potatoes. Okay, let's skip tonight and we'll be back in the morning. And here we go, the lumberjack flags are now constructed, so we can move two of those bots over. I think that's to one more right over there. Okay, someone's gonna go over, you can be now paused, because that one is gonna be ready any second. And this levy wall is almost complete as well, just the three or four or five actually more and then we are done same with the platforms in here we just have one more and i think this range is going to be bigger once we get this uh, little bridge or platforms completed because if we look at this farm for example that's a that's a pretty pretty massive range that it has Right, so we can already put some more potatoes as well. Another thing I'm wondering, can we not let some more water through? Okay, so the water level is not the highest. And I think, did we have, oh yeah, we do have another one queued up, but not really accessible, is it? No. So maybe... We are going to have to waste a few, yeah, just a few blanks to get it going. And let's see. Okay, so this is going through pretty nicely. And maybe, maybe you start greening this up a little bit. I mean, this is going to activate. We should have enough water in here. Do we have enough workforce? Oh, 15. Uh, John, uh, hmm, yeah, right. So we are going to need some more beavers as well, of course. I thought we got a ton of extra beavers when we built these houses. I guess we have given them... Well, there are still 10 children in here. And actually, never mind. We should be fine because we have like six spots in here as well that we will eventually transfer over. Okay, levies are now done. Which means we can start ripping out all of the uh, unnecessary things that are growing here. So, goodbye blueberries and all of the pretty little flowers as well. Yep, there you go. We'll try and get as many as we can. Yeah, I mean, 
There shouldn't be any problems getting them all, but uh, it's just a little tedious. But there we go. All right. And you are probably going to want some more access as well. So farms are now in. I think you can be paused for the, for the time being. Um, interesting. So it doesn't seem to have a lot of range behind this building. Whereas this one... Seems like it has a lot more. I wonder if putting a road through here is gonna help. I mean, why don't we give it a try? Let's highlight these potatoes to be removed as well. And then we'll see. I'd like this to be a lot further back if I'm honest. Yeah, this one covers this whole area, so why can't you do the same? Okay, couple last potatoes to be removed, and no. Well, interesting. I mean, yes, it's facing this way, but it has these roads. Hmm. Alright, let's grab one of the farms and see what's going on. Oh, well, of course, yeah, you are a bit further, but it just looks a lot more bigger area that you have compared to this one here. Or well, maybe it is about right, who knows. It's not really the range I was hoping for, if I'm completely honest. But maybe if we face you... Oh, well, there you go. Yep, it looks like if it's behind the house... It comes up until this road. If we were to turn them around, it takes us almost all the way where we want it, though. So, <laughs> let's give it another try. If we were to place a farm here, let's see how far this can go. Now, I do not want any of those trees to jump over. So, we're just going to block them in as well. Alright, whilst the beavers do... Not the beavers, the bots clear up this area. Uh, let's take a look how are things going in here. Okay, so that's looking... Pretty lovely. Uh, we can do a couple more stairs, just like here. And right here as well. Should help us with the access a little further. All right, and we should have plenty full of logs now as well, which we do. All right, wonderful. You guys keep on building and cutting down those trees. This section now is complete as well. And what we are going to do, or try and do, is see if we can keep climbing down. Oh, so maybe it might be best to connect a little road through this section here. Okay, a few more trees are gonna have to be sacrificed for that. And okay, so that's good. No one's built anything. Perfect. Right, in the back area over here, I would like to start getting some dirt ex excavators as well, but you're gonna take quite a bit of power. So with the power, um, we don't really have a good location to... Uh, let me start again. So, to get the most out of those... Where are they? Gravity batteries. The higher we put them, the more energy they can store. Right. Uh, as you can see, we can build a pretty uh, massive tower over here. And uh, it would be smart to try and dig our way as low as we can. It's not going to look pretty, but I think until we get this area sorted, I think it's just going to be something we will want to want to do. So, yeah, this seems like the deepest part. You only cost about 400, so fine. Let's see how big you are. Okay. Uh, we could place them here. We can do a couple batteries around already around this section so we could do one two sorry one two and if we demolish this a little bit as well we can do three in a row 
On this side, we could do one, almost two. If we were to get rid of this tree, hopefully they have access. Yes, they do. And same thing. So two over here and on top of you, we could do another one, two, sorry, one, two, and three. Quite a few batteries. And seems the beavers don't ha really have a lot of other jobs right now. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, oh, they've used up pretty much all the... Oh, we don't have much power either. Hmm. We might need another beaver in this building to give us the three dead planks that we need. Yeah, plus we need a few uh, spare ones as well. And will you look at that? These dynamites are going in pretty quickly. I don't suppose we are going to get a lot of it done. But, you know, slow and steady. Here we go. A couple more. I think with you, I'd like to start lowering, yes, this level as well. It's, um, I guess this section we can leave as it is. Yeah. It's not a biggie. There's going to be quite a few bat batteries that we can build here already as well. So access is not going to be an issue, I think. Oh, although it's red here. So why don't we give them a bit more direct route through here? Okay, yes, let's do that. Uh, wonderful. And detonate this section as well. These ones. So this job is, I think, I'm just going to lower it as far as I can off camera. Because it's going to take quite a bit of time and I literally have to sit there. Let's jump back into this section here and see our progress. Okay, seems like we've cleaned up this area pretty nicely already. And I mean, yes, we can build over them so we don't have to delete you. But uh, everything else here, how is it going? Do you have... Oh... Okay, I see what's going on. <laughs> uh, actually, never mind. It's fine. Let's just build a couple of temporary little log piles in here. And since they don't really have any building to do, we can transfer you over. And you guys can become uh, lumberjacks as well. Okay, there we go. Uh, this platform is now complete as well, so let's see if we place this farm here. It looks like it's the exact same range. Yes, it is. All right, our another option is if you look at this red line over here, we could try. Oh, that's exactly where those beehives are as well. We could actually. Yes. Let's see if we delete everything from this zone. Couple of wasted potatoes, but that's all right. We've got plentiful growing all over this area here. And all right, get this done. And let's test it out. Okay, we'll block this tree in as well. This road can go now. Grab one of those farmhouses. And that looks already a lot better. Yep, that's definitely the range I would prefer to have. So let's give it a try. You can go almost there, which is perfect. We shall rotate this farmhouse. And will you look at that? I'm okay if we can't reach the furthest corner in here, but that's already pretty, pretty lovely. These farms can stay in as well, because they are gonna farm on the other side of the river. And as soon as you harvest this section here, don't plant new potatoes, please. And we can do another farmhouse right over there. Okay, we still have 14. Oh, couple of... Maybe we change it two columns two of you can come in here okay i think we can be quite happy with all of this now we just have to have a quick look we have loads of potatoes 
Okay, maybe we speed up the grills a little bit as well. And we shall do another farmhouse just over here. All right. Couple of barrel pots right over there. And we'll leave you guys cleaning up this whole area. Actually, why don't you... Yep, let's just take everything out all the way up here. All right, so this confirms we are not going to do another district center here. It's just going to be a slight extension of our current district. And actually, let's give you the lowest priority. Yep, there we go. So we don't have spare columns right now. But yeah, so by having columns in here as well, food should be produced much quicker. Once we get this area cleaned up, what we'll do is we are going to start putting columns into the water pumps instead. Yep, we don't really need to use any science points. I just want to have all these barrels full of water all the time. And what might actually be handy is having a full hauling post uh, with columns as well. Right, okay, so that's gonna be it for this episode. The progress has been pretty good. Farming district shall be done. Just some minor little fixes. We'll plant some more. I'm not really sure what exactly we want to plant here yet. Uh, looking at our inventory right now, it would be lovely to do some more carrots for them as well. Sunflowers aren't going well, but we've got plenty full of those in here. Yeah, do you know what? Since we have so many wheat fields already, you guys are going to focus on sunflowers instead. And this area, once we figure out what we want to do here, most likely grills and bakeries. We're just going to delete everything from this uh, little cube and yeah, move the production over a little bit closer to our housing estate. All right, so let's cut the episode here. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.